So at the moment, I'm um, having a go at making an agent based model that will work on my Android phone. Uh, so I'm doing it in Unity because Unity has these mobile inputs and you can enable them. Just click. Well, this is a Unity uh, version 4.3.4, and in version 5, you do, there's going to be this mobile input. I think at the top thing, they just click and click enable. And the reason I've got got it on this version is because there's these sample assets that are going to be. I think they're called sample beta assets, which are going to be in 5 that you can import. Uh, and it's it's amazing really they've got the so if I go in sample assets uh you've got all these different um scenes somewhere sample scenes uh and you can you can run one so I'll run the well I've got one here here's an example <laughs> uh and and I've slightly edited it so it's got like a little background. And then when you click play, if you've got, I've not got my phone connected, but you can actually, you can have your phone connected to your computer and use that as the input to test it out. It's amazing. It's um, you need to download something from the app store to do it, but it's amazing. Um, no, so and then, so now this, it's just a guy running back and forth, um, and I can it will work with touch screen, and so what I wanted was different men. Walking around, uh, and one uh, when you tick one click somewhere on your phone, one becomes infected like a zombie, uh, and then if that touches another one, that becomes infected. Uh, and then I wanted to add all sorts of parameters like how long um, they move, how long they're infected for. I mean, and if they get better, uh, and I wanted to add stuff like. You know, had obstacles and have pathfinding. So, could zombies get stuck behind obstacles when they pathfind? Uh, what are the speed of the zombies? Uh, I wanted to kind of add all these things. Um, just for. I wanted to do it on Android just as a, an experiment, really, because you know, agent based modeling uh, is a way to explain pe things to people, really. Um, well, it's a way to model things, but it's, it's a nice way for people to see what's happening at a, at a smaller level and. How that affects the the high level, and I thought having that on a mobile device. If someone says, "Oh, um, I don't know," I uh, if you want to explain something using agent based models at a low level, uh, and you can just hand them the Android device, and I don't know. I just thought it's kind of more to hand than whipping out your PC and showing them a model. Um, but it's made me think it's going to be quite hard to do things like so. Like with NetLog, if I'm doing an agent-based model, I've got all the outputs to hand. Uh, whereas if I'm doing it in Unity, I have kind of a visual Android thing, but I don't can't really see the output, so it might be hard to get you know, like a an Excel document, just generate an Excel document of how many zombies there were, how long it got took for them to get infected and stuff like that. So it's kind of I think it might be a good thing to do for kind of the flashy stuff but uh, as an actual scientific tool I don't think it's going to be very good um, but I think I'll stick with it um, and also it's a bit hard to do things in 2D in Unity it's kind of like you have to do them in fake 3D uh, anyway that's what I'm doing currently uh, just thought I'd you know it kind of helps just writing just talking to myself <laughs> recording it so that's what this is about